guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this really dramatic emerald green smoky eye. I did actually use a gel eyeliner for the lid colour today and I topped it off with another eyeshadow from Urban Decay and I absolutely love the way this turned out. It's kind of like a deep emerald metallic green eye and because we have really nice brown tones going on in the crease, I wanted to keep the blusher and the lip colour quite similar so I kept all the tones quite nude and quite brown. So the reason why I love this look the most is because it's really versatile. I think that you could switch up the green to say a different colour. You could go like a bright blue or a bright pink or a bright yellow, a bright orange. Like you could literally go with any colour and just keep the crease colours exactly the same. Because the tones are quite neutral and that you've just got that pop of colour, it would really work with anything. So the last couple of videos that I've done are all voiceovers. So that's been a little bit weird sitting here and actually talking to you guys. But I'm pleased to be doing that because I absolutely love sitting here and chatting so guys if you're not already subscribed to my channel i would love to have you here as a subscriber so don't forget to click that red button right here and it will notify you of all of my upcoming videos i post every thursdays and sundays if you're not following me on any of my social media i will leave my link right here if you want to come and check me out i'm always on snapchat snapchat is like my favorite social media platform so if you guys are not following me there i will leave my link right here so you can just screenshot that and uh, you can come and follow me so guys if you want to see how i got this dark green emerald smoky eye then just keep watching so i'm going to start off by priming my eyes first i'm going to be working on my eyes before my face just because i am going to be using quite a few darker colors and i don't want this to be any fallout so i'm going to be going in with my mac soft ochre paint pot as you can tell i've nearly run out and i'm just going to be using that just to counteract any discoloration and also just to prime the eyes before we apply further eyeshadow. So if you guys are interested, I do actually use this Soeva brush. This one is their number 142 concealer buffer brush. And I absolutely love this for using the soft ochre paint pot. It just really, really buffs this into the eyes and it's really soft as well. So now what I like to do is just set that soft ochre paint pot into place. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of face powder and I'm just going to be putting this over the top. Just because sometimes that paint pot can be a little bit sticky so it might pull or drag on the eyes. Especially when you're going to be blending out loads of eyeshadows into the crease. You just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth so it doesn't drag and catch on the skin. So as a transitional shade today, I'm going to be taking a Makeup Geeks Peach Smoothie. And I'm just going to be buffing this into the crease using my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. So now to warm up the crease even further, I'm going to be going into this Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to be picking up the shade here called Peanut Butter. This palette just smells of chocolate and it's so nice. I could smell this all day long. So now going back into the palette, I'm going to be taking the shade here called Truffled and I'm just going to be in further intensifying the crease. So for this I'm going to be using the Zoeva Luxe Petite 231 brush and I'm going to be focusing this mainly into the crease area and not covering up any of the peanut butter shade that we put there earlier. So because I want this green on the lid to be really intense today, I'm going to be going in with a gel eyeliner. This one is by Laura Mercier in the colour Envy and it's just a really beautiful forest green. So I'm going to be putting this all over the lid to start off with. So I'm not going to be going all the way up to the crease with this, just because I want to leave a little bit of space for when we blend this out. So I'm also going to be doing one eye at a time just because I still want this eyeliner to be a little bit tacky when we go and apply the eyeshadow over top. That way it's just going to make it a little bit easier to work with afterwards. Okay, so while that is still tacky, I'm going to be going into this Urban Decay palette. This one is the Shadow Box that I haven't used for ages. But there's just a really nice green in here called Indo, which I'm going to take and set that gel eyeliner into place. So now with the same colour, I'm just going to be working this into the crease just to blend out any harsh lines. So now I'm going to be taking the colour peanut butter again and just also working that through the crease just to make sure it's really nice and blended through. So 
So now to really deepen up the crease, I'm going to be taking the shade here called Blackout and I'm almost going to be cutting the crease with this but really making sure it's nice and well blended. So now moving on to liner, I'm going to be doing quite a fierce wing today. So to do that I'm going to be taking this gel liner by Rimmel and I'm also going to be taking this Zoeva 317 winged liner brush. So now to prep my lashes before we apply falsies, I'm going to be taking this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The false eyelashes that I'm going to be taking today are these ones by Eyelio, these are the number 101. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be priming my skin using my NYX Angel Veil Primer. So now for foundation, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is the normal to oily combination skin one and this is in the shade of 105. And I'm just going to be blending this in with my damp beauty blender. So now for concealer, I'm going to be taking this Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer and I'm just going to be using a tiny little bit of this underneath the eyes. This product is very, very pigmented, so you only need to use a little bit and it goes a very, very long way. So it does cover up any dark circles and this also can be used as like a foundation or a tinted moisturiser. There's so many different uses for this product as it's so highly pigmented, but I just like to use this as a concealer. So now to set that concealer into place, I'm going to be taking this Ben Nye Neutral Set Colourless Powder just to bake with. So now I'm just going to be going in and doing my eyebrows while I let that concealer bake away. So now I'm just going to wipe away the excess powder and I'm also going to take a little bit of this MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is in the colour NC20 and I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face with this. So now moving on to contour, I'm going to be taking this shade here and this is from the 17 Define and Conquer, Conquer, Conquer. This is the Define and Conquer Contour Kit and I'm just going to be taking the darker shade in here. This shade really reminds me of NARS Laguna. It's just a really, really nice pigmented bronzer and it just looks great as a contour shade. So I like to use this brush by MAC. I actually get the number of it, it's actually wiped off the side. But this one is one of their small GI fiber brushes and I think it works really, really nicely in creating a nice soft contour. So now moving on to a blusher, I wanted to keep all the tones really nice and golden and bronzy. So I'm going to be dipping into this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm going to be picking up this shade right here, which is called Dim Light. So now to highlight the face, I'm going to be taking the Mirror Luminizer by The Balm. So now, because I really wanted to create a nice smoky look to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the shade Peanut Butter again, and I'm going to be buffing this into the lower lash line, but I'm going to be going quite far down the lower lash line with this, just to really blow out this look. So now going back into the shade Indo, I'm just going to be taking a pencil brush and also pushing this up against the lower lash line, and really blending those two colours together. So now going back in with a gel eyeliner from Laura Mercier in the colour Envy, I'm just going to put this into the waterline. So now I'm just going to finish off the eye look with a coat of mascara to the lower lashes. Now, so now taking a little bit of that Mary Luminizer highlighter again, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners and also the brow bone. the 
the look. I'm going to be taking this liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. This is in the shade Bow and Arrow. So guys, that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you here. So don't forget to click that red subscribe button and that will notify you of all of my upcoming videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!